Hurricane, Last Name, Alien, Checkerus, Spread Your Wings, New Body, City in the Sky, Law of Attraction. All tracks that were expected to be on Kanye West's 2018-2019 project, Yandi. However, the highly anticipated album would never see the light of day. My name is KC. On this channel, we talk all things music, predominantly Kanye West. And today, we run down the Yandi timeline. We're going to talk about all of the tracks and discuss why the project was inevitably scrapped. Join me as we revisit previous pain and relive the Yandi rollout. Nine twenty nine eighteen, a date that will haunt Kanye West fans forever. In September of 2018, Kanye West took to Twitter to announce his upcoming album. Weeks before the announcement, Kanye would post a picture of a disc enclosed in a clear case and accompanied by a purple tag, a picture similar to the cover of Kanye's 2013 album, Yeezus. This would be the cover art for the upcoming record. Kanye tweets the release date, September 29th, 2018, and states that not only will he be releasing the album on the 29th, but also will be acting as the musical guest on Saturday Night Live. This is only three months following the back-to-back -back week releases of Ye and Kid Seek Ghost, so fans are extremely hyped. Just two days away from the album's release date, Kanye teases us with a video. A visualizer of the disc coming together, complemented by audio of a song expected to be on the album that fans gave the name 80 Degrees. The 29th comes and fans are skeptical as the album does not release at midnight. However, Kanye reassures everybody on Twitter that the album would drop following his SNL performance. SNL begins and Kanye performs three songs. The single, which is already released, I Love It with Lil Pump, We Got Love featuring Tiana Taylor, and Ghost Town featuring 070 Shake and Kid Cudi. As Kanye finishes his final performance with the track off of Ye, Yandi has yet to be mentioned once. Kanye grabs the mic and begins to speak on politics. This performance took place just about a month after Kanye's public endorsement of Donald Trump. So Kanye's kind of on the defense of talking about how you shouldn't let the media determine your political opinions, and is just kind of flustered by SNL, which is a very liberal environment. He felt bullied about his decision to wear a MAGA hat during the performance. And while the media labels this as a, just a giant rant by crazy Kanye West, it's more of a speech about giving more love. Kanye encourages people to love a little more and love each other no matter what side of the fence you are on the political spectrum. Thank y'all for giving me this platform. I know some of y'all don't agree, but y'all be going at that man neck a lot, and I don't think it's actually that helpful. If you want the world to move forward, try love. Either way, Kanye is once again backed against a wall and forced to explain his words and political stances. Now, whether this whole incident affected, you know, whether the album was released or is just simply the fact that it wasn't done, that's debatable. Either way, we get no music, you know, no music is released after SNL and fans are bummed. Hope is restored in a tweet by Kanye's wife, Kim Kardashian. She says the album is just being touched up and is going to actually be released on Black Friday, November 23rd. Now, as of November, Kanye had worked in the studio, mainly worked on Yandi in Chicago. Kanye tweets on October 2nd that he would be relocating to Uganda to finish up the record. In putting the finishing touches on Yandi, Ye needed inspiration. Kanye sets up a studio in Uganda. He hands out Yeezys. He meets the president. He allegedly almost gets kidnapped. But after working there for a few weeks, Kanye returns to the States and has a live performance with Kid Cudi at Camp Flogna. It's a special live performance with the duo as Kid C goes.
After performing, Ye gets on Twitter and says the album isn't finished just yet. After performing live and kind of feeling the vibe of the people, he has a clearer vision of what he wants the music to be, and the album once again needs a few more touch-ups. Rather than giving a date that he's without a doubt not going to fulfill, Kanye just says that he'll tweet when the album is ready. Black Friday is a no-go. Kanye relocates once again, this time to Miami. There he works with the likes of Lil Wayne, Migos, and 2 Chainz. And following the post Kid See Ghost performance tweet, we literally get no updates on this album. No tweets, no mentions from anyone in Kanye's family, no mentions from anyone in his inner circle, nothing. In January of 2019, Kanye West begins to hold his Sunday service events. Somewhere between Uganda and Camp Flogna, Ye had a spiritual awakening. Kid Cudi has actually spoken on, you know, kind of pushing Kanye to get a little closer to God. But us Kanye fans know that Kanye has always had religious roots. His first big hit was Jesus Walks. As Kanye heals himself through these positive surroundings, the album is delayed even further. And the startup of these events actually marks the beginning of a monumental change in Kanye's creative direction. And without it outflips the album concept for Yandi on its head. That is, if it was even still in motion as a project. The biggest Sunday service yet had to be the event at Coachella. At the music festival, Kanye would play a song that we would later know as Water. And at that very event was Aunt Clemens, Kanye's protege for this whole Yandi era. Aunt was on the track Water and would be a mainstay in leaked tracks. And those leaks started coming out in 2019. Songs began to become available to fans illegally, as Kanye has yet to mention Yandi whatsoever. First was New Body, then Law of Attraction. Ye fans would get access to tracks like Alien, Hurricane, and more. But finally, we get an update regarding Kanye and music, but not from Kanye himself. Once again, from Kim K. Kim Kardashian tweets out a track list on a piece of paper, and the album title is Jesus is King. Release date, September 27th. On September 19th, Kanye would announce to the world that his music would no longer be secular. No explicit lyrics from Kanye West. Jesus is King would be a non-secular gospel album. And because of this, fans figured it was a totally separate project. Some still clinged on to hope that Yandi was still eventually going to be released. But once J.I.K. would drop, they would hear reworked tracks that had been leaked previously. Kanye himself would tweet out a track list for Jesus is King to be released October 25th at midnight. Before the release, Kanye would hold listening parties for the album and actually would play a few Yandi era tracks, specifically ones that, you know, had the OG lyrics but were just very lazily censored. Jesus King does come out on the 25th, later on in the day, not exactly at uh, midnight exactly. However, we finally got new music. Every hour, Sella, Follow God, Closed on Sunday, On God, Everything We Need, Water, God is, hands on, use this gospel, and Jesus is Lord, makes up the Jesus is King track list. Some tracks are reworked and taken from the Yandi era, some brand new and worked on in 2019. Either way, Yandi would never be spoken of by Kanye ever again. And to this day, some Yandi era tracks are expected to be put on upcoming Kanye projects. That is, whenever the hell they're going to release. But due to the change in lyrics and religious themes, some fans found Kanye's new direction unpleasing and were not able to vibe with Kanye's new gospel record. Now that we properly recapped the Yandi timeline, I think we have to talk about the Yandi track lists. These tracks are primarily broken up into three sections, SNL, Uganda and post Uganda. In the SNL time period, we undoubtedly have the most amount of leaks. Now, whether that kind of confirms that the whole 
you know, speech and feeling bullied on SNL uh, and the MAGA hat situation did kind of contribute to Kanye changing the album and not dropping it. That may be. But without a doubt, after the incident, there is evidence that Kanye made some fix-ups. So from SNL, we got New Body featuring Ty Dolla Sign, Nicki Minaj, Aunt Clemens and Designer, Triple X, which is The Storm, featuring Aunt Clemens, Ty Dolla Sign, Kid Cudi, and XX Temptation. Bye Bye Baby featuring Mickey Blanco. I Love It featuring Little Pump, which was of course already released. Hurricane slash 80 Degrees, but we only have the snippet from Kanye's Twitter. Alien featuring Kid Cudi and Aunt Clemens. Last Name featuring Aunt Clemens. Garden featuring 070 Shake and Ty Dolla Sign. We Got Love featuring Tiana Taylor, which would of course later be given to Tiana Taylor uh, for her album in I believe 2018 early 2019. Chakuras, which of course would later be named Sela, uh, but at this point in time was featuring The Dream and Designer. City in the Sky exists, however, it is yet to be leaked at the point of this recording. And then of course, we'd be remiss not to mention that some of the Chicago sessions had some songs that were potentially going to be put on Yandi, however, were later given away or just not used at least so far. Um, Ego Death with Ty Dolla Sign, and of course later given to Ty uh, for his album featuring Ty Dolla Sign. And then um, I Kill For Fun with YNW Melly, which is yet to be utilized and has a really cool beat to it. It's freaking awesome. So let me go down to Uganda. Uh, things that have leaked from that period in time. Sela, it is officially renamed, um, you know, formerly called Chakiris. It's the final version with the OG lyrics. Uh, it's completely done. Then we got Spread Your Wings, which is formerly known as Bye Bye Baby. Um, Law of Attraction uh, is done and is featuring Aunt Clemens, which is later to be, uh, to be named Used As Gospel. Uh, we got a reworked version of Hurricane. This time, of course, just like last time, featuring Aunt Clemens on the hook and everything. Uh, but we also got Ty Dolla Sign. He has a verse in there, Young Thug, and Big Sean. And then we got Sky City, which of course is City in the Sky reworked, but again, that is yet to be leaked. And then post Uganda, we're mainly talking about everything uh, past Camp Flogna and uh, in Miami. Uh, you know, it's not directly known when Kanye officially was like, okay, it's not going to be Yandi anymore. It's going to be Jesus is King and it's going to be clean. But, um, you know, obviously that was in the works potentially in the midst of the Sunday service events. So uh, post Uganda, we got Sky City, which of course is. Um, a version of City in the Sky, I guess. That's the one that has leaked and is featuring 070 Shake, Ty Dolla Sign, Designer, Kid Cudi, and The Dream. Uh, we got a Alien reworked version. Uh, this one's featuring Migos. Uh, the Storm. This one is without Kid Cudi, uh, and it's a slight change in the instrumental. Now, I gotta say right now, just for fun, Kid Cudi's verse on The Storm is... Man, I, I don't understand to this day why it was cut out because not only is it freaking just beautiful, but also, uh, you know, for one, Cuddy's humming on that track is just mwah, chef's kiss. And also, it's a clean, you know, it's clean. His verse is clean, so I never understood why that was taken off. Uh, but then finally, we got Cash to Burn, uh, which is unclear if it was on Yandi, but it was worked on during this period of time. Uh, and that features Aunt Clemens, Kenny G. He's got a... Uh, yeah, a solo on there, and then Styles P. And it is rumored, at least in my book, rumored that it was given to Styles P. So now that we got the track list down, I think we got to talk about the ones that have been reworked and even are being rumored to be featured on upcoming Kanye tracks. So, uh, Sella, of course, the official opening track, I guess, of um, of uh, Jesus is King. I know the opener is like the intro. Um, with the Sunday service choir, but this is like the first time Kanye sings on the record. Of course, he was formerly known as Chakiris, and uh, no OG beat drop this time. You know, the nothing but dollars in it, that's not on there anymore. Uh, added hallelujahs, of course, instead of yay, yay, which is, you know. And then um, biblical references at the end, mostly biblical references. I'm the teens Ayatollah went uh, and changed over to God is King, we the soldiers. And of course, the thing that really signified just the definition of pain everybody want yandi then jesus christ did the laundry uh, then we go on to new body so this is an interesting one uh the clean version has leaked 
Um, obviously, no. You know, the whole tone of the, <laughs> the song has changed. It is originally a song about girls getting plastic surgery and, you know, getting the parts that, uh, you know, dudes find, you know, sexy or attractive done, you know, like plastic surgery on boobs or whatever. So it is changed over to, you know, kind of like a song about being born again, I guess, with uh, being a virgin. That's what I got out of the leak. And uh, the Nicki Minaj verse is taken out. And it has, of course, yet to be released. This was also played at the uh, Jesus King listening parties, but it wasn't the reworked track just yet with the new lyrics. It was uh, it was just censored. And then, um, basically, the reason I bring this up was it was originally on one of the Jesus King track lists, later to be taken off. And then also, uh, as of late, it has been on the Donda track list. Nicki Minaj herself has been pushing for this. Uh, Kim Kardashian's a fan of Nicki's verse. And, of course, Nicki Minaj's fans are insane, and they have been bullying Kanye whenever he had those tweet storms back in uh, uh, 2020 summer and uh, just saying like release new body so part of me you know I like Nicki Minaj's verse but part of me wishes he just drops it <laughs> and it's not on there so they just freak out but um yeah we'll see what happens with that with the upcoming project if it ever does get utilized um as of late any news on it uh Ty Dolla Sign's album featuring Ty Dolla Sign he has a a uh, line about there about Kanye said it was pretty mid so that's that's pretty interesting the storm this one was released officially uh, everything we need of course renamed to that um, Cuddy's taken off and so is XX Tentacion and um, the original version of the storm has that little like in between the uh, the you know the hooks and everything it goes like a little guitar riff that's taken out and I don't know why exactly that was either it's just different things that really you know, weren't exactly, uh, I would say, explicit or secular that he took out for some reason, you know? Interesting. Uh, and then, of course, no use of the awesome synth opener and uh, closer in the leaks that we did get. Then we got Law of Attraction, which is really a favorite among Yandi leaks. Um, of course, this would be later known as Use This Gospel, noted to be Kanye's daughter North's favorite, uh, favorite song of all time. So Kenny G feature was added, uh, which is interesting because obviously he was going to be on um, Cash to Burn. He had a little solo on there, so he is added on this. That's awesome. Uh, and then, of course, this is a totally reworked uh, song as well with the lyrics. Beat, of course, is the same in the instrumental, but I mean, it goes from talking about basically a law of attraction, which is like a concept of manifesting your ultimate life and making it a reality into finding strength in the Bible. And then finally, we get down to the other leaks that haven't exactly, you know, uh, been put on anything or played by Kanye himself, but are rumored to be on Donda, and they have been on Donda trackless. So we got Alien, Hurricane, slash Rain, as it's been renamed, and now again, it's been renamed to Hurricanes, uh, and then we got Last Name, which has been rumored. So... They all appeared on the Donda track list, uh, the all 7,000 of them that were tweeted out by Kanye. Alien is for sure a lock. Um, there's merch for it. Uh, and also, the one feature we do have, we got Kanye on the uh, the hook instead of Aunt Clemens now. And uh, Pusha T is the feature. Uh, Hurricane is rumored to be featured by Little Baby. Him and Kanye were in the studio together, and of course, this goes back to Kanye saying in the summer how Lil Baby's his favorite rapper. Um, and then, uh, allegedly, we had that whole spoof just a few months ago about how there's a music video coming out for that, so uh, that's awesome. Originally titled 80 Degrees, great song. Just awesome to hear that. And then finally, we have a, uh, a thing that's been debunked. So, last name appeared on one of the Donda track lists. It was LN, last name. But, um... Then it was kind of taken off and on, and I, I really don't have any merit in those previous track lists in the summer. You know, I mean, we could take references from the what was on there, but I mean, Kanye changes his mind that much. Imagine now where we're like five months ahead in the future. So there was a rumor that, you know, it wasn't a rumor exactly. Some source said that I Feel Terrific, which was a mainstay on the Donda track list, was last name. Uh, this has been debunked six, since then, like right away as it was put out there, it was debunked. And then also this is kind of ratioed by the fact that uh, we got an I Feel Terrific snippet now and it is nothing like last name unless, you know, Kanye reworked the track and maybe there's a beat switch or something, which is in my mind not very likely because that guitar riff is, you know, godlike. 
Of course, we also have to factor in that, um, you know, some of these songs like Law of Attraction and uh, Sela are going to be reworked with Jesus King 2 with Dr. Dre Beats, if that ever does come out. Uh, I just find all this very fascinating, you know, I really do. But again, this is all really up in the air. You never know when Kanye's going to drop something or completely change his mind on a project. Yandi will forever remain a mystery. Some fans say it would have been Kanye's best album. However, I think we always have to kind of factor in, you know, I always say this, leaks are like the forbidden fruit. They're not released officially, you're listening to them and they're not exactly put out there by the artist, so they're always gonna kind of sound better and you're always gonna have that thing like, why wasn't this put on the album? But either way, for Kanye fans, it will forever spark memories of unfulfilled promises and overall trauma. As Kanye is a known perfectionist, delays are almost certain for each album. With the whole Yandi project being completely scrapped after being delayed for a few months, it added a whole new reason for fans to build up anxiety with any Kanye album following Yandi. To me, the album will forever be one incredible what if. Tracks live on in fan-made mixtapes in both present and future Kanye records. But forever, the question will be, what could have been with Yandi?